Hey everyone, this is Cleo with Cleo Yoga Finance and today I'm gonna to be talking about budgeting. Just gonna share four quick reasons why you should either start budgeting or revamp your budgeting skills. And then I'll share four ways that you can revamp those skills by using tools that will work best for you. There's no right or wrong way to budget, but it does take you patience, it does take dedication, it does take consistency, and it does take the use of tools that will work best for you. So let's get started. All right, so number one reason why you should start a budget or revamp your budgeting skills is you worry about money a lot. So if you're constantly worried about how much money you make, where your money's coming from, and when will you reach these financial goals you set for yourself, you really need to take a deep dive in what you have going on right now. How much money do you actually make? What are your expenses? What type of money habits do you have? Why are those your money habits? Think about the good habits and think about the bad habits as well. You know, what are you willing to change? What are you willing to try that's new in your life to help you to become a better, a better budgeter? So you gotta think about that. The next thing is overspending. So if you're constantly overspending in a budgeting area, for example, one of the biggest areas that a lot of us overspend in is the food, whether if you're shopping at the grocery store or if you're eating out all the time. So take a look at that food budget. So for example, if you decided that you wanted to only spend $200 for eating this month and you spent $800 with the combination of probably going to the grocery store or eating out, then you might wanna take a look at that food area. If you're constantly spending, overspending every month or every other month, you might wanna take a look to see why do you continue to overspend? And overspending in that area, you know, is that taking money away from you spending in other areas in your budget? So you have to think about that. Or another one is maybe you like to shop on Amazon a lot. <laughs> And sometimes we can overspend there. So think about it, if you only wanted to spend $300 this month on Amazon, but you spent a thousand, and you have to think about it, the things that I bought, were they needs, were they wants? Why did I overspend? Did I need that stuff right now? And you need to think about what habits that you have. It's those daily money habits that really contribute to us getting closer to our financial goals or pushing us further away from our financial goals. Now, this is not to say we can't enjoy our life or that we can't have fun or we can't enjoy the things that we want. You can, but you just have to make sure you have a plan and that you are organized and that you are dedicated because on this journey to financial freedom and reaching these goals, you wanna make sure that you are making strides towards accomplishing those goals instead of just spin, 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 and you're not putting any efforts or any time or money or energy or good vibes towards those financial goals that you want to accomplish. So the next reason why you should start budgeting or revamp your budget, your budgeting skills actually, is you are always in the negative. So, which means that you are spending more than you're actually earning, that you're actually bringing home every month. And sometimes we may not feel that we're spending more than we actually make, but you have to really take a look at those numbers. And that's why you have to budget. When you budget and when you track your expenses, it's really gonna tell a story, a story that you probably didn't realize was your story. So when you look at how much you actually earn, how much you're actually bringing home, and your expenses. Take a look at what you're spending on every single month. Is it more or is it less than what you're actually earning every month? And if you're in negative and if you're in a negative often, that is a that is a red flag. That is a sign that you really need to get a hold of your money habits and figure out a budget that works best for you so that you're winning financially instead of having a lot of financial losses. And the fourth reason uh, why you should start budgeting or revamp your budgeting skills is you're continuing to borrow more money when you're already struggling to pay on the debt that you already have. So you wanna think about, you know, for example, credit cards. When people are swiping that credit card every month, some people don't look at it as borrowing money or debt, but it is. So if you're in a position where you're using that credit card every single month to pay for, you know, basic living expenses, 
you have to think about ways that you can get out of that credit card cycle. Now, for those of you who use credit cards and you pay it off every single month before um, the billing cycle ends, you know, you're not accruing any interest or fees, you know, that's a different situation. Those are people who are disciplined. But for other people, which is most people who have credit cards, they are carrying a balance and sometimes paying the bill late. So this means that not only do you have interest, but now you have interest and fees. So you want to get out of that living paycheck to paycheck cycle where you feel like you have to use credit cards or use personal loans or use any other type of debt to pay for the basic living expenses that you already have. So here are some four tools that you can use really quick to start budgeting or revamp your budgeting skills. So the first one is every dollar. I personally use every dollar, but I want you to try it out just to see if it works best for you. Another budgeting app is You Need a Budget, and they both are geared towards having that zero-based budget. And what is a zero-based budget? It basically means that you are accounting for every single dollar. When you list out your income, and you list out all your expenses, and you start deducting uh, the, the expenses from your income, you should have zero for that month. You know, every before the month begins, you're going to create a budget every single month. And you're going to make sure that you have zero. Now, every week, you are going to meet with yourself. You're going to schedule a money date with yourself to check in and make sure you are on track to see if you need to make any adjustments, if you need to switch anything around, because some things can pop up unexpectedly. And you want to make sure that you are checking in with yourself, holding yourself accountable, and checking every single week, every seven days, you need to check in with yourself to make sure that you are on track. Now, everyone may not like every dollar, everyone may not like you need a budget, but it's up to you to test it out, try it out for a month or two to see if it's something that you like. Do you like the colors of the app? Do you like the features? Is it user friendly? Does it make your life easier? You have to think about those things because it's all about having tools that help us that make things a lot easier. Now, if something's hard or difficult, it doesn't mean that you just need to immediately say, oh, forget it, it doesn't work. Like, really try it out just to see if it works with your personality style and the way you like to operate with your money every day. And the two other tools to use is good old pen and paper <laughs> or a spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet or a Google sheet. Now, I know for me, I used to always have pen and paper because I like to write things down. There is power in writing things down. And I actually suggest for those of you out there who are struggling with your money management, write it out first. Use your pen and your paper and write it down first. Then transfer it to a spreadsheet or an app. But there's power in writing it down and seeing it on paper first. And when like when I first, I don't really carry my pen and paper around like I used to, uh, like as much as I did in the past, but when I did, people would always, I would walk around at work, I would walk around just running my errands for the day, and people would say, Cleo, are you in school? Are you studying something? And I'm like, no. And they're like, well, why do you have that notebook? And I'm like, well, this is my budget. It helps me stay accountable. I check in with myself. And they're like, you carry around a notebook with a budget? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I sure do. Because that was something that helps me hold myself accountable. So I want you to do what was best for you. If you don't like to carry around notebooks and pen and paper, use the notes in your phone. Use the budgeting apps. Use a spreadsheet. Somewhere you can easily access it and check in with yourself every single week. So remember, whether if you are not doing so well with your money or if you're doing well with your money but you want to do even better, a budget can be for everyone. And if you don't like budgeting, you need to have some type of system in place that's helping you stay organized with your money habits. So today, I want you to pull out your calendar or your planner, schedule a money date with yourself to create your budget for the month of August, or start working on your budget for the month of September, and use the tools, try out different things, play around with those numbers, and make sure you are creating a budget that's going to help you move closer to your financial goals. And this is not just for personal finances. This is for business finances as well. So for those of you who are freelancers, contractors, independent contractors, or entrepreneurs, small business owners, you need two budgets. You need a personal finance budget and a business finance budget because you cannot be successful in your business finances if you are struggling in your personal finances. Please keep me posted, send me a DM, and let me know how you've been doing on those budgets. See you next time. Bye-bye.